expectation. Now, you can't say much more than that, can you? Because uh, I, I would say that probably takes up part of the most important things for the kingdom. Um, and he's a very important man. So, please carry on with him, but welcome the Minister of Commerce, His Excellency Sonjirat Sonjirawan. And I hope I've said that correctly. Data is really important in terms of the 
management of the future. And also challenge the economy. It's another, another new thing that happened. And of course, the financial and transaction capital system of Bitcoin, blockchain, and fintech. That's still a question mark for the government that how can we manage. This problem and changes have resulted in an increasingly borderless trade, which will affect the trade pattern completely in the future. This technological advancement will result, will result in a more complex trading economy and fiercer competition. Another important issue is geopolitics, which is uncertain as a result of changes in the policies of economically powerful countries like the US, EU, Japan, including countries that have a more prominent role in the international forum, such as China, Russia, India. Meanwhile, the turbulent situation and terrorism offering many of countries also directly affect the world trade system. This factor caused many countries to develop and adapt themselves, leading to a tougher trade competition. There are changes in trade regulation that bring the issues of labor, human rights, or environmental issues into the commercial sphere. This create both opportunities and obstacles to Thai trade and any other country. Therefore, it is necessary for Thailand to prepare and stipulate the policies and strategy in trade in this situation. For Thailand, let me talk something about Thailand. Why the world changing rapidly? The world economy is growing at a slower pace. Within this uncertainty, many countries, including Thailand, are seeking for a new economic model to enable growth. Such changes provide opportunities and also for challenges for Thailand to improve and have to reform. You may have heard many words about reform Thailand, reform Thailand, because it's a time that it's a, it's a, it's a crucial time for our country to reform. Not only economy, but also every crucial environment element in order to enable the country to sidestep the various traps which are obstacles to the development of the country and to move towards the goal of stability, possibility, and sustainability. These are three important words. Like a government direction, we should have the stability, we should have prosperity, and of course, it's a sustainability. In terms of Thailand economic performance, in 2017, the Thai economy expand by 3.9%, improving from 3.3% in 2016. Export value is uh, unbelievable also, is grow, grew by 9.9%. Why private consumption and total investment increased by 3.2%? and 0.9% respectively. On the expenditures, the expansion was supported by the acceleration of the private consumption, robust export growth, and continual expansion of private investment, while public investment declined. On the production side, hotel and restaurant, wholesale, retail trade, transportation, and Electricity, gas, and water supply sectors expand at estimated rates. The manufacturing sector continues to grow well, when the agricultural and construction sectors 
experience contracting. Export is a key driver in the Thai economy. In 2017, Thailand export showed the highest growth and amount to be 236 billion US dollar last year. Thailand export has fared better than overall global export. As the IMF forecast is growth at 8.6 percent, the high export work not attribute to the recovery of the global economy and Thailand major trading partners such as the US, EU, ASEAN, and China. The moving of production base to Thailand and demand for Thai products in the global market have also support factors in the recovery of Thai exports. The growth of export on agricultural and agro industrial products had risen continuously throughout last year. As a result of rising global oil price, the support and upward trend of both agricultural and oil related products will put into top performance in this year, 2018, including automobiles, computers, and cars, plastic, and related products of plastic, and also the circuit. In 2018, it expected that the Thai economy will expand in the range of 3.6 to 4.6%. But we quite expected that we will better than 4 of this year. Uh, it will be supported mainly by the acceleration of the world economy growth and the expansion of government expenditure. This year, I think many projects of the government will be start and we can operate for this year. So uh, the expansion of the government expenditure will be accelerated the, the growth of the country. The country export came in the first quarter looks so nice right now because uh, the value of Thailand export in January last two months increased the highest over the past 62 months. Last January, we increased about 17.6%. It's a, the, the most highest during the 62 months. And its value was about more than 20 billion US dollars in January. So we saw a growth of all of product export in all market. Export to the US. Japan and the EU have all increased. And the Minister of Commerce will work even harder this year to maintain the growth of momentum. And as you know already that for the Ministry, we, we, we forecast and we expect that they will achieve the target of export growth at 8% of this year. In terms of all economic recoveries, U.S. tax will be beneficial for the export and moving of production base to Thailand are expected to be supporting factors for Thailand economic outlook in 2018. However, there are some risk factors which may obstruct Thailand export growth, such as the volatility of the US dollars. As you know, right like now, our exporters face the problem of the exchange the whole policy was strong when compared to the other parts of the world. And also the barrier that may happen more often during the foreign trade policy and also the political uncertainty. This is the, some factors that may be obstacle our growth of this year that we have to uh, handle and we have to try to solve this kind of problem. The Thai government has put all the effort to restore the stability in one dimension and bring about a strong economic recovery in the face of declining global economic growth. The Thai government has come up with a new economic model to unlock the country from solar economic challenges 
that a company has economic development model which plays emphasis on agricultural, or we call it uh, Thailand 1.0. We are in the traditional uh, ways of uh, agricultural products. And we have a light industry, at that time we call it Thailand 2.0. And for heavy industry, for the last 20 years ago, it's Thailand 3.0. The challenges are the middle income trap, inequality trap, and imbalance trap. So Thailand 4.0 policy is a development pattern towards value-based economy, which can aim to shift the mindset and perform more for less. More for less compared to during the last time that we do less for more. So we need to focus to create the value. And we have to know what the market demands. So we will focus on the use innovation, technological, and creativity to accelerate Thailand 4.0 and to improve our competitiveness in the world market. According to Thailand 4.0, we have given priority to 10 target industry that you may know already because I think last luncheon the ministers of industry have come here and we talk about our new target industry. We call it S curve and new S curve. That I think I have only to mention it again today because we want to do it quite well already. In terms of doing Business in Thailand. Thailand has been moving forward to an open, free, and business friendly market economy with a favorable investment climate to boost competitiveness. The country has been streaming the laws and regulations and enhancing good governance and transparency. Thailand has been improving its infrastructure, enlarging trade and export capability and promoting research and development to stimulate the creative economy. I think next month I will go to visit UK and we will uh, make some cooperation with the UK side about the creative economy and it's another direction of the Ministry of Commerce to be more focused on the creative economy. So, Thailand therefore remains a favorite investment destination for foreign investors looking for business opportunities in Thailand and throughout Asia. One thing that is very important for the government right now is the project of the Special Economic Zone or EEC. And of course, maybe EEC, last time we used a lot about EEC project already. So I have no need to talk something more about EEC, but I have to imagine that EEC is like a golden project of the government. And because of the internal geopolitics, Thailand is in the middle, in the center of ASEAN. And we have EEC that will be the, the, the golden opportunities for the foreign investor to invest in Thailand. And if you want to buy land in Thailand, I recommend you to buy the your province. This will be the, 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 the modern province and very high potential in the future. So let me skip on the EPC because you know it well already. Let me talk something about the Ministry of Commerce. We have 20 years strategy. As you know already that the Thai government tried to make a long strategy. This is the first time in our historical because uh, normally the government have no long-term plan like 20 years strategy. But someone may say that it's too long, but don't worry, it can change, it can uh, adjust, it can uh, modify as a time change. I would like to take this opportunity to update this case on the Ministry of Commerce 20 years strategy. 
Ministry of Commerce has adopted Thailand with the strategy plan starting from last year, 2017, until 2036, and prepared to respond promptly by stipulating the 20-year strategy of the Ministry of Commerce in order to formulate direction and policy in driving the development of the country trade economy to be strong and be able to serve and benefit for future regional and global economic change. Advancing trade for the well-being of the people is the vision of the music strategies. Three objectives of the study are competitiveness, connectivity, and cohesiveness. This can help free Thai economy form the middle income trap by means of enhancing competitiveness, focusing on promoting value creation and the civil economy, creating economic opportunities in the country trade and economy by pushing for better connectivity and focusing on demand-driven approach and regional integration. This includes stabilizing the country trade and economy by building cohesiveness in the economic system of the country to creating fair, inclusive, and sustainable trade. In 2018, the government emphasized that it was the year of cash loose economy and communities. You may note that even in terms of our GDP growth is quite high when compared to the other countries, but we still have the problems about the cash loose economies. So, Minister Kongo will focus on driving the grassroots economy by integrating with all sectors that will be different in provincial level and link them to the region and country. That's the reason why this afternoon I have to go to Kanchenaburi province because we work so hard about the grassroots economy. The missing main mission can be divided into eight key areas. First, monitoring cost of living and price level. Second, monitoring price of agricultural commodities. Third, strengthening local economy for supporting small and medium enterprise or SME. Five, protecting intellectual property. Six, encouraging new service to support Thailand for zero policy. Seven, promoting export, of course export also our main engine, economic engine of our country. And eight, creating a conductive environment for doing business. In terms of the economy that uh, we have to focus because most of our population, let's say about 40% of them is like the bottom of the pyramid that we have to focus and they're living allow the property line. So we have to aim to increase their income growth to at least 15% per annum during the next five years. And you may have heard Another policy is of the government in Thai is the Thai Yong. Thai Yong is a Thai word. I don't know, maybe it means in population, in popular, popularism Thai. It's a, it's a policy that we, we do like a focusing on the, the poor people. And we will uh, have a, a lot of people go to elect contract with them, the poor people and ask them what is their question and how they can increase their income to over, at least over than 13,000 baht a year. And we live with that with poverty people in the local, in the rural areas. Their income a year is less than 13,000 baht a year. How can they survive? So that's the, the, the whole policy to try to help out there. So the strategies for the government economy is based on the vision of inclusive growth to inclusive value chain and network. 
and the consume of five key strategies to choose. First, enhancing capability and creative creativity among micro business and community enterprise. Second, expanding market opportunities to alliance network and social enterprise. Third, enabling rural communities to utilize digital trade and logistic systems. Fourth, encouraging social purchasing and job creation, job creation in service sector. And five, in getting local stakeholders to implement trade strategies. The ministry is also paying close attention to the new era of technological development, which has the potential to enlarge income gap between the rich and the poor. One response is to stimulate trade to drive modernization in the agricultural sector, especially through agro-related services. For the local economy, from an unstated local type economy, imbalanced economic structure to social disparity between urban and rural areas. The Ministry of Commerce has realized the problems and has adopted a policy to strengthen trade mechanisms, especially among promoting local and commodity market to link with the other economic activities, including the development of it's a Thai word Tala Tong Chong. It's a Thai word, but in English it's a must see, must to see, must see market or have to see market. So if you see the Tala Tong Chong anywhere, so the in the market we have to go to see something. And not only see have to buy also. Not just walk around and see, have to buy also. For Tala Tong Chong, it's a it's a it's a it's a place that the local community reflect their own unique identities and cultures for police attraction, which now have a total of 128 places around the country. In addition, the ministry has also given priority to the geographical indicate indication or we call it GI, geographical indication by the legislation. Right now we have more than 80 something GI products around the countries. And it has been proved that when the product registered at the GI, it can sell better and in terms of price higher in terms of price. For the SME, of course it's very important for the social uh, for the economic structure of the of the Thai from Thailand because it's a, it's a main uh, company or main entrepreneur in terms of quantity. Let's say the SME, right now we have more than 3 million uh, companies as an SME. And let's say maybe 98-99% of the company in Thailand is an SME. So in accordance with the government policy to transform our country toward a digital Thailand, the Ministry of Commerce seek to enhance the digital competitiveness of Thai SME, which will in turn strengthen the, con the country economy. This goal is to transform SME to become a smart enterprise on innovation, creativity, and technology. So SME can with full benefit on global trade opportunities. Uh, emphasize in place of assisting entrepreneurs in adopting the less or more or demand driven policy or will value creation as opposed to talent for policy or policy. Uh, SME have to enhance, enhance their own competitiveness. So Minister of Commerce has established the new academy, we call the new economy, new economy academy, or 
MTA is a digitally driven and e-commerce based knowledge center. MTA or the New Economy Academy aim to provide practical training and develop program to all aspiring and college entrepreneurs. The concept is in line with the government policy to build a stronger foundation of the domestic economy. To the implementation of Thailand for policy model, the NEA's primary objective is to put into practice various innovation, information, and digital technologies initiative to drive mobilization from within to encourage participation in international trade and to develop a world-class competitiveness for Thai smart SMB and entrepreneurs. Of course, we did talk with the New Economy Academy. We cannot mention about e-commerce. Technology makes the world we live in turn at lighting places. Technology and digital economy now constitute a significant and growing part of the overall economy. The internet has become a, a, a disruptive among the multiple industry, creating new business models and becoming a powerful force in its own light. So digital technology and transforming our economies and societies and for flowering as the stream engine and electricity once it in past centuries. Online trade and e-market platforms have never been more important. The Thai economy would thus have to catch up with the global mega trend in order to stay competitive in the global market. The Minister of Commerce support the use of e-commerce to promote trade by encouraging Thai business to more effectively use e-commerce. This year, we plan to help community business to expand online to our own website, we call thaitrade.com. It's the first time that thaitrade.com has been established as a website for the Minister of Commerce for more than nearly 15 years already. But it's a B2B. But now we will open another session. It's about we turn B2C also have an opportunity to uh, exhibit on our uh, target.com and especially for the community products. We will give them a chance to have the marketplace on the target.com. In terms of regulatory reform, the Ministry of Commerce has been reviewing trade and investment related rules and regulations during the past two years. The National Legislative Assembly has passed approximately 227 acts to ensure that our law and regulations are up to the international standards. All new acts and revision are aimed at putting Thailand on track for achieving international standards and simplify possibility for business cooperation and facilitating trade and investment. Thus, Thailand will become more competitive, business friendly, and better able to attract ties and foreign investors to do business in Thailand. In terms of the competition law reform, we have the competition law for uh, I think right now about 18 years already, but it, it's still not so uh, not, not still not active enough to, to, to help in terms of the, the competition uh, like uh, some of the other countries. So we just review uh, the competition law reform uh, and we will try to operate to promote the fair trade competitions, prevent monopolization, and in line with market structure and change of business condition. So Lena is operating already for the new act of the competition law since 
last October. In terms of intellectual properties, the Thai government acknowledged the importance of developing intellectual property system to be more effective, and the Thai government promote intellectual, intellectual property rights protection to foreign investors and encourage Thai people to invest more in research, which will improve Thailand competitiveness to innovation and commercialization. We are now developing information technology or IT system in the filing of application and examination process of patents, trademarks, and industrial designs. An e-filing system is in full operation. Being a member of the MAPIT protocol, we enable trademark owners in Thailand to try a single international application designing, designating other members under the protocol, as well as enabling other members that is trademark to do this in Thailand to seek protection in the country. This is a great news for brand owners. So now it's quite safe for every company because we just uh, uh, active as a member of the Mali Protocol. Furthermore, the Minister of Commerce has also launched new projects on IP. The first project is an uh, intellectual property innovation global enterprise center or IP IDE center. These centers provide advisory services on the protection and commercialization of IP as well as access to respectable IP database where researchers and business operators are able to search for IP related information. Second, the next project, we call it IP Mart website, which serves as an online market space where IP creators and inventors can showcase their IP to traders and investors. On the other hand, traders and investors are furnished with ready to use information on various kinds of IP, including patent, patent, design, trademark, copyright, and geographical indication. As of now, more than 600 pieces of IP are being showcased on the IP mart. So we have time to check the IP mart. It's about more than 600 already in the IP mart. As a result of reviewing trade and investment related rules and regulations, Thailand competitiveness continued to increase. In 2018, Thailand reformed 46 to 26th in the World Bank's ease of doing business ranking. Why the International Institute for Management Development, or IMD, led Thailand in the world competitiveness up from 28 in 2016 to 27, one more, better, in 2017. In terms of free trade agreement, as uh, for international trade negotiation, Thailand has competed 12 agreements on free trade areas, or 12 FTA, with trade and investment partners, including six bilateral agreements and six regional agreements with 17 countries. In addition, Thailand recently concluded ASEAN Hong Kong China FTA, which will enter to, into force on 1st January next year. Moreover, Thailand also have three ongoing bilateral and regional FTA negotiations, namely the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement or ASEAN and FTA negotiations with Pakistan and Turkey. Free trade agreement between Thailand and trading partners have served very well as soft infrastructure 
bringing trade and investment partners in the regions together. FTA will not only improve economic relations, but will also reduce the cost of doing business to operating harmonizing rules and regulations. In terms of investment, it's a great opportunity for partners to play a crucial role in infrastructure projects in Thailand. Therefore, the trade and investment opportunity created by FTA would strengthen the cooperation and create an entering business environment for economic growth and development. Another policy that's important that I have to inform you today is a strategic partnership. We are actively promoting international trade with potential trading partners. The Ministry of Commerce has set up the strategic partnership plan to advance trade relationships in both G2G and B2B levels. With all of this, there are much more opportunities to invest in high potential market. This will assist trade and investment to expand other key countries and complement exiting FTA. So it means that now the Ministry of Commerce will not uh, report only export growth, but we will start to report another uh, another factor is the GNP growth under the strategic partnership policies. So the Ministry of Commerce is confident that Thailand will transform into a value-based economy. Business will be highly competitive and be able to connect and expand both at domestic and global market level. The economic structure will be more balanced and trade will become even freer and faster. And also we will fair with the other people. People will live well, one sector will grow together without leaving anyone behind. Ultimately, the Thai economy will be stable, prosperous, and sustainable. May I talk a bit about Thailand UK? Because you are our host today. The UK is a Thailand 80 largest trading partners. Total trade in 2006, no, 2017 is about 7,019 million US dollar. It's growing 19.67, let's say 20 percent from the previous year. There's much higher value investment between the two countries. The markets of the UK and Thailand hold great potential for both countries. The UK is also one of the world's leading food importers. Not only we focus on exports, we also want investment. The UK is one of the leading European investors in Thailand. The UK direct investment in Thailand from the year 2005 to 2016 amounted to be 18 billion US dollars. Thailand is an emerging investor in the UK. Direct investment from Thailand in the UK for the past 20 years is value about 9.1 billion US dollars which made investment in the Thai restaurant business, uh, import and distribution of food and beverage, hotel business, and football clubs <laughs> in the English Premier League. <laughs> Thai owner team, Leicester City, is a Premier League champ last two years. As a, for the cooperation between private sectors of the two countries, there is the Thai UK Business Leadership Council, or TUBRC, which aims to look for creative a way for Thai and British business to support and promote trade and investment. I believe that this will help trade and investment flow in both directions to increase, help identify potential business opportunities and partnership in both countries and also help improve economic development. I would like to press and thank the contribution from British company
to the Thai economy. Tesco is a prime example that always support Thai farmers and SME. For example, cooperation in 22 Bacharat Project and support the export of Thai products to their network and also help to promote them onto international markets. In addition, Tesco provides coaching sessions on export to the UK by giving advice on the retail business and consumer trend in the UK. Once again, thank you for Tesco. I would like to take this opportunity to thank members and staff of the British Chambers of Commerce Thailand for your kind cooperation and support as always. I really much appreciate and the effort, hard work, the constructive contribution you have made throughout the year. And I'm certain that all of you will continue to play an important role in the economic growth and development of Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, it's too long already. <laughs> so, <laughs> be late. <laughs> so, since it's a the private sector that's uh, considered the key drivers of the economy. I believe that this auspicious forum today will represent the chance to enhance mutual relationship between Thai and foreign business investors. Last but not least, I wish this event a great success and I would like to thank all of you again for your interest to do business and invest in Thailand. I hope that the trade and investment between Thai and foreign investors can be further expanded and our relationship can be further strengthened. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can ask Mr. Chris Thatcher to come up and present a small gift to the Minister of His Excellency, to Son Tirera. Um, on behalf of all the chambers um, here today and on behalf of our sponsor, Domingrad International Hospital.